Number 10, Daniel Gagarin and Emma Monkinen. On September the 23rd of 2021, two fitness coaches drowned at Lazora Cove off the coast of Spain after one of them had jumped from a cliff into the raging waters below. Russian expat Daniel Gagarin and his colleague Emma Monkinen, aged 30 and 23 respectively, had been working at a gym in the resort city of Torrevieja. Gagarin's wife was filming them and she captured most of the tragic incident as it unfolded, with her panic-induced screams being heard halfway through the clip. As the waves violently battered the cliffs, Monkinen launched herself from the cliff and got into difficulty shortly thereafter as she was unable to cope with the strong current. Gagarin and his wife were desperately trying to guide her to safety before the former jumped in the turbulent sea to try and rescue her. Gagarin displayed tremendous physical fitness while waves were repeatedly battering him as he managed to pull himself and Monkinen onto a rock. Unfortunately, they couldn't hold on to the slippery surface for long and were swept into the open Mediterranean. Both drowned and in the extensive search that followed, Monkinen's body was found nearly two miles from the cliff while Gagarin's body was retrieved the following day. Number 9. Dominique Ortiz Bonilla Dominique Ortiz Bonilla suffered devastating injuries in July of 2019 as he launched himself off a 60-foot cliff in Spokane, Washington. 22-year-old Bonilla jumped in an area of Long Lake known as the Cove and free fell from a distance comparable to that of a bowling lane. One witness reported that the cliff from which he had jumped was particularly dangerous because the water below wasn't deep enough. As he landed, Bonilla smashed his head on the jagged rocks and remained submerged after becoming unconscious. Other swimmers in the area dove after him and brought him to the surface. Three off-duty firefighters in a boat and two personal watercrafts arrived at the scene and they took Bonilla to an area from which he could be airlifted. He was taken to Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center where he eventually passed away. Emergency personnel had been called to the cove in the past to reports of injuries sustained by divers who hadn't jumped far enough into the lake to avoid the rocks. At that time, Bonilla was the only fatality to have been reported at the site, but roughly two years later in June of 2021, another deadly accident occurred that mirrored his. An unnamed man had jumped from a 50-foot cliff at the same location and, like Bonilla, didn't resurface. Witnesses attempted CPR at the scene before he was taken to Willow Bay Marina in Stevens County, where efforts to revive him continued but ultimately proved fruitless. Number 8. Thomas Painter As it stands, the record for the highest cliff dive belongs to Lasso Schaller, and it was achieved at Castacata del Salto in Maggia, Switzerland in 2015. The then 27-year-old jumped feet first and free fell the rough equivalent of a 17-story building at nearly 193 feet. He impacted the water at an estimated 72 miles per hour, and had he made any mistakes in angling his body for breaking through the surface, the consequences would have been dire. At his speed of entry, the water was akin to concrete. Fortunately, Shallow was a high-diving professional who had trained extensively for his death-defying jump and relied on his preparation for its successful completion. Thomas Painter's athletic background and diving experience are unclear, but in September of 2021, he attempted an extremely dangerous jump from a cliff at Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. The 41-year-old Bosworth man was at the 64.5 mark of the lake's main channel in Camden County and leapt from roughly 125 feet. To put that distance into perspective, it's more than half the wingspan of a Boeing 747 airliner. Painter didn't resurface and was pronounced dead shortly thereafter. According to officers from the Missouri State Highway Patrol, his body was recovered and taken to Hedges' funeral home. An official report is pending but it's believed that he was knocked unconscious by the impact and drowned. Number 7. Stephen Andrews Stephen Andrews suffered life-changing injuries in 2008 when he jumped off a cliff at Sharrow Beach in southeast Cornwall, England. Andrews, a 25-year-old builder, was visiting the coast with his girlfriend. He'd reportedly had six vodka shots at a pub nearby, presumably to build up his courage as he planned on jumping from a 25-foot cliff. Members of the Coast Guard had seen him near the edge of the steep rock formation and tried to warn him away. Andrews ignored them and jumped into what he believed would be deep water. Unbeknownst to him, the fast-flowing tide had reduced the sea level at the base of the cliff to a mere three feet. In front of his girlfriend, Andrews crashed into the rocks, breaking his neck and severely damaging his spine. 
Lifeguards pulled him from the water and he regained consciousness on the beach, confused about what had happened. He was rushed to the hospital and into surgery, but the damage was too extensive to mend. As his mother stood by his bedside, some of Andrews' first words to her were, I want to die, upon realizing that he couldn't move. Doctors told him that he'd never walk again after his drunken stunt had left him paralyzed from the neck down. He spoke to a media outlet from Derriford Hospital in Plymouth, Devon, warning others about the dangers of cliff jumping. Number 6. Jose Onofre Molina Jr. Jose Onofre Molina Jr. died in June of 2015 from catastrophic injuries, sustained in a cliff dive gone wrong. 29-year-old Molina of Mojave Valley, Arizona and two other men were drinking in Lochlin, near the Nevada side of the Colorado River. Molina approached the edge of a cliff and attempted to jump into the river, expecting the water to cushion his drop. Unfortunately, he fell tragically short in his swan dive and impacted the ground headfirst. According to an administrator for the Big Bend of the Colorado State Recreation Area, the river, which is the fifth longest in the US, fluctuates in depth daily and almost on an hourly basis. Molina dove into the water when it was at its lowest point and it's possible that the alcohol had impaired his ability to properly assess the risks associated with his jump. Number 5. Yevgeny Zinichev On September the 8th of 2021, Yevgeny Zinichev, Russia's Minister of Emergency Situations, died during a training exercise in the Arctic city of Norilsk. Zinichev had worked as a KGB officer during the final days of the Soviet Union and went on to serve on the security details of Presidents Dmitry Medvedev and Vladimir Putin from 2006 to 2015, prior to holding one of the highest profile cabinet positions. The two-day interdepartmental exercise simultaneously took place in several Arctic cities. It was a documented endeavor that was primarily concerned with protecting the Russian Arctic. On September the 8th, 55-year-old Zinichev and film director Alexander Melnik were standing on the edge of a cliff in the area of the Kataba Oran waterfall. As reported by the ministry, Melnik slipped and fell into the water. Before others taking part in the drills could get a grasp of the situation, Zinichev leapt from the cliff in an attempt to save Melnik. However, by doing so, he landed on a protruding rock and sustained critical injuries. The ministry didn't specify if he died on impact or at a later time but he was the first incumbent federal minister to die in the history of post-Soviet Russia. The following day, by Putin's decree, Zinichev was posthumously awarded the title of Hero of the Russian Federation. Number 4. Case and Ryan Adams In September of 2021, a Temecula teenager drowned in Lake Havasu on the Arizona-California border after jumping from a rock formation in Copper Canyon. 19-year-old Case and Ryan Adams was last seen launching himself from a 40-foot ledge that was known among other diving enthusiasts as the common jump rock. He was submerged for 5 to 10 minutes before witnesses intervened and pulled him from the water. They performed CPR on Adams until deputies arrived and took him to the water safety center where professionals continued to apply life-saving measures but to no avail. Leading up to Adams' death, there had been 10 drowning incidents in the Colorado River in 2021, five of which were reported at Lake Havasu. Number 3. Justin Jordanoff In October of 2018, Justin Jordanoff from Bustletown in Western Australia was visiting an island south of Bali. He wanted to add an element of adventure to his holiday and decided to dive into the ocean from a clifftop. The 41-year-old leapt from a rocky peak at Mahana Point on Nusa Senegen. He survived the jump but was forced to battle a powerful rip current as he made his way back to shore on the nearby Blue Lagoon Beach. Jordanoff initially seemed to be all right, but within minutes of reaching the beach, he began to feel hot and dizzy. A friend rushed him to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. A Balinese doctor determined that he'd suffered a heart attack. Even though he hadn't sustained any serious injuries in the dive itself, fighting the current had placed too great of a strain on Jordanoff's body. Today's topic was requested by Bilal Belletti. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Matthew Riggs On July the 21st of 2018, US Army Staff Sergeant Matthew Riggs was boating and swimming with some of his friends at Lake Pueblo State Park in Colorado. 31-year-old Riggs was stationed at Fort Carson and in the past had performed tours of duty in Kosovo and Afghanistan. 
His decorations included the National Defense Service Medal and Afghanistan Campaign Medal with Campaign Star. At some point during their day out, Riggs and his friends took turns jumping from an 80-foot cliff at Cottonwood Creek Cove. Two of his companions went first and safely emerged from the water. Like the others, Riggs also leapt from the cliff which stood taller than the Hollywood sign. However, much to the concern of his friends, he didn't resurface. They called 911 and the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office's dive team as well as the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Authorities. Divers searched for Riggs' remains that evening until it got dark and diving conditions were no longer considered safe. Wildlife officers continued to comb the cove with side scan sonar and the following day, divers found Riggs' body in water about 30 feet deep. Number 1. Sam Buckwald in July of 2021, an Australian man felt paralyzed following a daredevil stunt at Clarence Dam in the Blue Mountains of New South Wales. Self-proclaimed Aussie adventurer Sam Buckwald launched himself from a cliff face on a rope swing and performed three somersaults before hitting the water at an awkward angle. Buckwald would later post footage of the jump on TikTok. He'd failed to complete his final rotation, which caused him to land on his back from over 30 feet. He returned to the rocky cliff by his own power but was coughing up blood. Overwhelmed with pain, he stretched out on his back and covered his face. Because of the way he'd impacted the water, Buckwald suffered bruises and ruptures in his lungs. Looking back on the incident, he remembered barely being able to move in the water and feeling as if his body had become paralyzed. Fortunately, he recovered and counted himself lucky not to have broken his neck. Thanks for watching. Would you rather dive headfirst from a 24-foot cliff or spend 24 hours on the world's fastest roller coaster? Let us know in the comments section below.